We're doing something a little different here today because it is holiday Monday. We are cooking up a Cook storm. Warm. A storm is right. <laughs> this is Hurricane. A friend of CHCH, uh, Marisa. We all know her from Easy Kitchen. And today we're focusing on different brunch ideas. So we're going to talk breakfast, we're going to talk brunch, but we're starting off with drinks and a salad. Yes. Well, the brunch is the salad part, but let's talk about the drinks. Okay. So, you know, you can have your coffee and, and I brought a sample of a very lovely brand of coffee. That's okay. uh, very nice. We're going to do some phony Negroni. Phony Negronis. Phony Negronis. So here's a little bit of sparkling wine. Phony sparkling wine or no, is this, this making is, it a real this thing? This is the real one. <laughs> Maybe you can just top those off. I sure can. It's just a lovely way to start off a brunch. Sure and uh, certainly if you want to keep it non-alcoholic, then you keep to the phony Negroni. Yeah, you put in right? some soda water. Exactly. So in my uh, protein shake, it's always nice to start off with a heavy duty dose of protein. Mm -hmm. I've got a banana and some uh, kale, peanut butter, a little bit of milk okay. and I'm going to add a little bit of egg white powder. Egg this white is powder. Yes, this is a fabulous source of protein. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have that grittiness, chalkiness, aftertaste. Mixes very well. We're gonna make a little noise. Okay. That's it? That's it. Yeah, right. You don't want to blend it too much once you add the egg white, but it doesn't give you that uh, aftertaste that so many of those um, protein, protein powders yeah. do. Okay, so you're going to try that. Well, because it's not like, it's not something that you would normally think of as putting in right, as a protein, right? Right, right. It's a nice clean protein. There we go. Mm. I love maple syrup. Oh my gosh, that's so good. Mm. A little kale. You can put spinach instead. See, mm. no aftertaste, right? Zero. Yeah, perfect. All right, so oh, one other beverage mm -hmm. I have here. This is from Italy. It's uh, an abicocca. It's an apricot. And really, oh. it's going to taste like you just bit into an apricot. Do I have to shake it? Uh, yeah, I think because... It's uh, a little it's, settled. Yeah, and then you could uh, pour it in here over ice. I also brought shaky, some... Shaky. Mandala, wakey, wakey. Latte di mandorla. It's not the almond milk like we're familiar here. Yep. It's such a lovely, lovely drink. This, oh, I'm telling you, once yes. you have a sip of this, you can even zhuzh it up a bit. Maybe add a little bit of sparkling. sparkling. <laughs> No, it's going to be the theme of the day. It's a holiday okay. Monday. <laughs> Give this a try and Woo. tell me what you think. Okay. Okay, cheers. Cheers. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Mm. Oh. Oh my Not gosh. Too sweet. Mm. Like an apricot. It like right? bursts in your mouth. Exactly. Okay, we've got okay, about a minute brunch. to do this. All right. So I have your fregola. Fregola is a Sardinian pasta. Looks like a couscous. It's an Italian couscous that's been toasted. I'm going to get you to chop up some peach there. Okay. And we're going to just wing it, okay? Okay. Because it's brunch and we don't want to get too stressed out. No. We've got some chopped tomatoes, some green onions, some Because we want to be able to relax on our brunch. Oh as my well. gosh. And this salad keeps well um, for days in the fridge. I was going to say, does it taste even better on day you two? You got <laughs> it. So the one that I brought to sample is uh, actually from yesterday. A little bit of celery. Do you like red onion? I do. There we go. My honey almost went. Uh -oh. There we go. A little bit of red onion. This is going in? Yes, please. Okay. And not a fan of tuna? I'm not really. Okay. Should I leave it out? I'm going to leave it out. Okay. Okay. And we're going to add a little bit of lemon juice. The nice thing about this pasta is that it has a nice bite to it. Okay, all right, well, we gotta go. Okay, I'm gonna so, add some feta. We've got the finished product right here. Yes. We're gonna be trying it in just a few moments. Uh, we'll show you next segment, but for now, there's lots more coming up on Morning Live. Great job. Look. We are back in the canteen with Marisa from Easy Kitchen, and nothing you do here looks easy to me, but oh, I'm no, gonna roll with that. it. <laughs> okay, it oh. is easy. It's just because I have a lot out here. I know, but I'm a horrible cook, so okay. everybody knows it. So let's let's start with our language, right? Everyone can learn to cook. Okay. Everyone can. I okay. didn't start cooking until I was married. Oh. I burned lots of things. In fact, I still burn things. Okay, you're so making me feel better. 
better. Well, that's the reality of it. So this is a great breakfast. School's just about to start, right? Yep. You can make this and freeze these and then pop them in your lunch. It's terrific. Okay. So I've buttered the uh, muffin pan okay. and lined it with some beautiful black forest ham. I sauteed whatever vegetables you have in the fridge. You know those vegetables that yeah. look sad? Yeah. Those are the ones. Okay. So in here, I have egg, salt, parmesan, um, and a little bit of milk. And you're going to look at that. So you're, easy. I didn't even have to tell you what to do. I'm you a are, pro. You. Well, you are. Those are the finished products, so I looked first. Well, I, that's <laughs> perfect. I'm going to put this aside because I want to show you my my uh, really fancy thing. Okay. Okay. So this is awesome. This would go in the oven 350 degrees, maybe 400. Okay. Uh, for easy. about uh, 20 minutes. You'll know that they're done because they're going to puff up. Okay. Okay. So we're going to start off with this. Can you crack eggs for yeah. me? Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. Make it dry. In here? <laughs> yes, please. And I always crack in here in case there's a shell. That's oh, happened smart. to me. So, okay. And we're going to use this tomato sauce. I have to say I make my own. Yeah. But when I have to cheat, this is the one that I use. It's called That Guy's Sauce. That Guy's yeah, Sauce. Yeah, I love the title. Yeah. And somewhere in here, there's a basil leaf, just like my mom used to oh, do. Oh, same. Yeah. So there we go. So you could... Oh, okay. I got a shell. Well, that happens to everybody. How do I get it out? Okay, I wanted to stick my finger in there it, you go. I'm not Tim. <laughs> Don't tell him I said that. <laughs> <laughs> so you could saute a little onion, garlic, whatever, but this sauce is flavorful enough as it is. Okay. And we're going to pretend that we've put this on the stove and it's simmering away and nice and hot. You got it. I did. I okay. did. Okay. Well, let's just do three for now. Okay. And then I'm going to just place them. We're going to pretend that my sauce is piping hot. Okay. Okay. And then you put a lid on it and you just let it simmer. Okay. Oh. How simple is that? That's the easiest thing ever. I okay. can totally do you that. Can do that. Look at what we have here. <gasps> oh my gosh, that looks okay. amazing. The smell. The smell. Yes. It's so, so the fragrant. the eggs are in there, and you decide if you want them well done or just, you know, runny. How do you know for the timing, I guess, right? Uh, yeah, and then you can just poke, right? I'm going to poke here. See? Beautiful. Mm, okay, that's okay. a nice runny egg. And then I'm going to add a little bit of ricotta. Mm. So high protein again, right? We've yeah. got the eggs, we've got the... And like so healthy, yes. but so delicious at the same time. Right. We've got 30 seconds left. Okay. We've got some beautifully toasted bread. Somewhere okay. there's a garlic in here. Can't find it now. So I'm just going to Yeah, you're going to just going to dig, dig in. in. And I've got okay. some beautiful sausage. I got to tell you my job's real hard today. <laughs> well, you know what? You're mm. you're working on a holiday, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. So the idea is that you make it nice and fancy mm. for your family. When you put it all out right? and, come in. and you put it out on the table like this, everybody helps Lives themselves. Good in. Exactly. I love that. And we are onto my favorite part of any meal. <laughs> Dessert. The sweet stuff. Marisa, what have you prepared for us today and what are we going to be preparing? Okay, so actually uh, this is bringing back childhood memories. Oh, I love that. And I've got my mom's bowl. This is what we used to bake in. So I'm using That's that beautiful. today. We're making brioche. Brioche. Okay, brioche. Mm. I know, it sounds so fancy. It's a really lovely buttery dough, mm -hmm. yeast dough. Mm -hmm. And with this dough, we're going to make these little guys. Look at this. Oh, this they're is so brioche cute. brioche tupo. This is like a little bun. Oh, yeah. I'm tell you about that in a minute, but the same dough made those other three sweets that you have in front, so it's very easy, okay? okay. So you're going to add, let's see, we're going to add the sugar, you do this part, you're going to add right, the sugar, yes please, yeah, okay. sugar, the salt, the eggs, just pour in a little bit of honey here, I've got uh, three cups of flour, eggs in here, yes please, okay. I've got some egg milk, or sorry, uh, milk powder. I think that makes the dough really nice and soft. Yeah, just a How touch, much? however much you want. Yeah, that's good. Oh, nice. Sorry, I like everybody. it. No, what are you apologizing for? It's all good. So maybe just about half of that is okay. good. And I'm using instant yeast. So if you're afraid of using yeast, um, I am because oh, then you have okay. to let it rise. No, you have to look at no, it. This you gotta do this. You gotta do this. And you gotta so do this. instant yeast. Okay. I'm gonna use about half the pack. Okay. And you don't even have to be that accurate. No, you're totally just eyeballing everything. It scares me, but I get it. Like so you've been doing gonna, it for a hot minute. So think of it this way: when you're using my kind of recipes, mm -hmm. you don't have to be that exact. I love that. I don't like those kind that you, I'll, I'll leave those to the experts, okay? Right? The kind that everything, you know, has Says to be the expert. so. <laughs> no, to the just experience. Mm -hmm. No, experience. You're going to dump that in here. 
into it, okay? You could use a, a dough hook, you know, on a stand mixer. Don't even know what that is, but okay. <laughs> and that's why I'm showing it to you the old fashioned way. Oh, I left all the okay. honey. Hold oh, on. that's good. Right. That so there. you're gonna work this with the wooden spoon and it's gonna come together like a ball, okay? For lack of time, mm -hmm. we're going to just uh, pretend that it's has a ball. For TV purposes, yes. Yep. I've got some soft butter that we're gonna add. See how nice and soft mm -hmm. that is? Mm -hmm. So we're gonna mix that in and you're gonna knead it, okay? okay. But we're gonna just pretend we did that. Okay. All right? So this dough is so easy that my niece, my six year old niece Danica uh, made this with me when we were away. We had no measuring cups, nothing, so we had to eyeball it and it came out perfectly. Okay, so this is the dough after it's risen for about 20 minutes. Okay. That's it, 20 minutes. That's easy. It gives you enough time to go answer a text or two and then come back. It's all good. So you're doing the right thing. <laughs> Am Look I okay? Good. Yes. <laughs> so you could actually even fold it on top oh. of itself, but it doesn't matter. It, this dough is so forgiving. So we're going to do a ball. Perfect. And then you're going to punch a hole through it like this, as if it were a donut. Oh. So right through it like that. Oh boy, okay. Okay, okay. now I'm going to give you another little piece of dough. Okay. Yeah, nice. Donut? Yes. Now the other one, make it into a little ball. Oh, and then it goes on top. Well, if you do that, it's going to pop off oh. when it cooks. But good, it's a good try. <laughs> so we're going to keep our hand on an angle. Okay. And we're going to roll it. Yeah, beautiful. So it forms like... I don't know, like a top. Like a little thing? Yeah, perfect. And you're gonna stick it right through oh, so that it comes out. There it is. Oh, so you can smart. Pinch it up. There. It's done. done. That's it. Okay. Oh my gosh, that's so, so easy. So now my favorite part, all right? Okay. We're going to pretend like we're in Sicily. Okay, we gotta do this quick because okay. they're telling me I gotta go to break. Because in Sicily, yep. they eat this with gelato. Okay, okay, so we're gonna put some gelato yes. on it and then we're gonna go to break so you can go to break while we are doing this, right? Excellent, beautiful. Gelato on bread. Gelato. So that's lemon. And so much more pistachio. coming up on Morning Live with Marisa and her kitchen we're so lucky <laughs> it's enough to want to move to Sicily I think I think so too okay I have decided that I want Marisa to do all of my grocery oh. shopping for me <laughs> because this stuff that you get is amazing okay remember these little brioche buns that we made in the last segment I'm now drizzling what is this so this is uh, crema di pistacchio chocolato so it's uh, pistacchio Bravo. chocolate sounds very cream. Italian and remember what I said, this is what they have in Sicily for breakfast. Aww. You have, why, why just Come have on. plain toast? I'm right? in the you wrong have a country. brioche <laughs> and a little gelato, and if you have a <gasps> granita di caffè. Uh, so Bliss mm. in Stony Creek makes beautiful, beautiful ice cream. Okay. Okay, we have to get to work. Okay, sorry, I have to make I'm like, ah. <laughs> All right, our last part, we're gonna do some pancakes because, you know, what, what uh, Brunch is not complete. That's right, every Everybody breakfast, pancakes. special breakfast has to have that. Okay. So I have oat flour. And you don't have to spend money buying oat flour. You can just buy regular oats and then uh, grind make it, it into flour. Yeah, exactly. And a little bit of flour, and you're going to add all of these. A little bit of salt, a little baking, baking powder, soda. baking soda. Okay. Yeah. And uh, I think I have some sugar here. You don't have to add the sugar, but it makes it I like that. Sweeter. Something is beeping here. Let me see if I can turn that off. Amazing. Okay. And so in here, this is not just a regular pancake. This is milk and eggs, but high protein. Mm -hmm. We've added ricotta. So oh. you could use it uh, in a blender or just by hand. Yep, you're going to go ahead and that. Uh, I would say all of that. Okay. Yeah, because uh, the old flour really does uh, require a little bit more liquid. It does. So even if you're using a mix, try adding a little bit of ricotta or maybe zesting a little bit of lemon, mm. right? Doesn't that smell wonderful it's already? So, oh my gosh. Yeah, so yeah. the idea is, yeah, you're going to give that a stir. With pancakes, you do not want to over mix. And you don't? No, because I you always want, over mix. You Nope, you want uh, a few little lumps in there. Why? Um, because if you overmix, it develops too much gluten and it becomes very tough. Oh. Okay? So then, uh -huh. here's my little trick. I used to do this for my kids all the time. You get a little bit of the batter, add a little cocoa. You might need to thin it with a little bit of milk. Okay. And then on the stove, we make letters, right? Great, great. Great. 
letter E. I'm touching it because it's going to be mine. That's yours. It has the letter E. It's a great way to for kids to learn the alphabet. And oh, you did you hear us just singing the alphabet song? <laughs> no. We were, there's watch. a new way now. Oh, okay. We'll talk after. All right, we will. <laughs> so if you are using this little gadget, you do need a little squeeze bottle. And you have to remember that some letters, you have to do it backwards. So you, oh, yeah, so it's forward. I was forward. in it because with the letter E. You got lucky. Uh, right, so I'm going to make a C. You can go either way, you just flip it upside down. C H, right? You want to make Cute. it nice and thick. Okay. And then let it set. So it's going to cook for about a minute or two. And then, so you can stop there. Okay. So you could add a little vanilla, a little cinnamon to this batter, whatever. And then okay. I've got my batter. It is pretty thick. It is. Once it's set, then you cover it up. Okay. Oh, okay. So it's only on one side, so it's not double yes. sided. Yes. No, you could. You could. I never mm -hmm. thought of that. Yeah. Okay, we'll leave that up to innovative. you. <laughs> okay, so now the topping, mm -hmm. you know, you could use just regular um, maple syrup. No, that's oh, boring. <laughs> no, that's right. 30 seconds to Okay, top all right. So we're going to add some ricotta. You can use a blender or just use a fork. Mm. And a little bit of sugar, you can add that. And we're going to zest, zest, zest some lemon. Pretend we've done that. And you can use your fork. Thin it out with a little milk or cream and take a look at this. Oh, okay. and that's Emily, what it's turned into. You have to taste this. I'm just going to dip yeah, it. Yeah, go ahead. This is such a Tim thing to do, but as I'm running out of time. We're at home. This is what mm -hmm. we do at home. Mm -hmm. What do you mm -hmm. think? Is that amazing? Mm -hmm. I can't even talk <laughs> Okay. So much more coming up on Morning Life. Thank you for joining us in the oh, kitchen today. Oh, my pleasure. Thanks for the invite. Come here the Easy Kitchen. That's where you can catch all of your stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Amazing. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Marisa. So good. I love it. And mm. extra protein too, mm -hmm. right? Nice mm -hmm. way to start the day. Oh, it's so good. <laughs>